Hi, in this video I will talk about evaluating the performance of language models trained on universal dependencies tree banks. Language models trained on universal dependencies tree banks are generally accompanied by information on how well the models can predict the linguistic features defined in the universal dependencies annotation scheme. To evaluate the performance of models, their output is compared to human annotated data, the so-called gold standard or ground truth. For dependency parsing, model performance is usually measured using two metrics. The first one is the unlabeled attachment score, which is simply the percentage of words that have been assigned the correct head. The second metric is the so-called labeled attachment score, which is the percentage of words that have been assigned the correct head and the correct dependency relation. Let's take a closer look at these metrics by rendering the dependencies for the example sentence, I went to the cinema. If we had the same sentence annotated by a human at hand, we could use this sentence as the ground truth for evaluating the performance of the language model for dependency parsing. To calculate the unlabeled attachment score, we would simply count how many of the words were assigned the correct head by the model. For the labeled attachment score, however, the model must also correctly predict the relation holding between the tokens. Otherwise, the prediction is considered incorrect. The use of unlabeled and labeled attachment scores can be problematic when comparing the performance of models across languages. Consider, for example, the Finnish equivalent of the example above I went to the cinema, minä menin elokuviin. If the English language model were to predict the wrong head for a single word, it would still achieve a UAS or LAS score of 0.83. If the Finnish model in turn would make a single mistake, the corresponding scores would be 0.66. This comes down to structural differences between the two languages. Languages with many function words, such as English, have longer sentences than morphologically rich languages, such as Finnish. Because the sentences are shorter, a single error costs the Finnish model more than it would cost for the English model. To address this problem, several alternative metrics have been proposed, such as the content labeled attachment score, which ignores function words, and the morphologically aware labeled attachment score, which also evaluates whether the part of speech tag and selected morphological features have been predicted correctly. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions related to universal dependencies and evaluation, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.